Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back because I wanted to quickly share with you guys um, what you can do with digital images. Digital images are awesome and you can find them all over the internet. Um, a great place to find them would be on Etsy. Um, you type in whatever you're looking for and you could pretty much find anything um, that's out there. So in this case, I wanted to find some Christmas images and I came across these and I thought they were super cute. And um, this is a store called um, Glamour, Glamorous Sweet Event. And I guess this is the store owner. His name is uh, Donna. Um, but in any event, I found these images and I loved them, so I went on and purchased them. So um, all you do is you download them onto your computer or on your Mac. In my case, I do use a Mac. And then um, you can either use them in your silhouette or you can use them in your um, Cricut. Now, I found that using them in your Cricut was way easier than using them in your silhouette. Now, when I put them in my silhouette, I was able to just download the entire image where this entire image came up as one page. Um, and I'm sure there's a way for you to erase and do all that good stuff, but I found it much easier to use uh, Cricut Design Space. So this is my Cricut Design Space right here. And I just want to share with you how I made all of these images individualized. And it's super easy. All you do is click Upload Image. You're going to click Browse. And this is the image right here. I'm just going to click Open. Once I have that image open, you'll see it come up on your screen right over here. I always go to Complex. I never use Simple or Moderately Complex because I don't know, I just figured complex would give you the best um, uh, image. And then I'm just going to click continue. Well, when I do that, you see how large this image is. So you can go right up here in the right hand corner and you can zoom out. And that way you can kind of see more of your image that you need to see. Right over here on the left hand side, you have a select and erase, you have an erase, and you have a crop. The easiest thing to do in this case would be to just crop the image out. So I'm just going to click crop and then I'm just going to draw a boundary box around one of the images and it's done. Now you could go in and you could delete the white space. Um, but what I've been finding is that if there is left open white space, meaning say for instance, if this white runs into the lace part right here of this white is going to take that lace away and I'll show you that real quick. So if I click over here on the left hand side select and erase and I just click on that white you'll see in some you know in some of the pictures and in this one too you see right here this one wasn't this picture wasn't um there was not like a boundary line right here so when I just erase that and I'll click continue so you can see what this looks like. You see these lines right here? These are going to be open spaces in your image and you don't want that. And if you were to um, cut this image out, your machine is going to try to cut all inside of here. So you don't want that. So just click back and you're going to leave that area the way it is. So we're going to go back to um, zoom out. So I can see the images and I'm going to click crop and I'm just going to crop around one of these images and then I'm just going to click continue and now you can see it's a solid black uh, rectangle. Oh, that wasn't even the image that I selected. That's kind of weird. Let's go back. I don't know how that did that. Um, let's zoom out. That was really weird. I'm going to click crop. I'm going to crop around this image right here. And then I'm going to click continue. And look at that. Now it doesn't show anything. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe my machine is getting tired because I've been kind of working on it. So let's see. I'm going to quit. And then I'm going to open it back up real quick and 
go back in because you know sometimes your programs get tired so we're going to go back in and I'm going to click um, new project I'm going to click upload I'm going to say upload image I'm going to browse I'm going to click on my image click open I'm going to click complex continue I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to crop and I'm going to crop around this image one more time, see if it works for me. And you can make it as tight as you need to make it so that it's not a, you know, a lot of white space around it. And as you can see, this is my image. This is how it's going to cut once I send it to my Cricut. And that is exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm just going to click Save. And when I click Save, it's going to be down in my box just like that. So I have two of those. I don't need this one. So I'm just going to click on or I'll click on this one and I, I'll click. Um, wait a minute. I don't want to click both of them. I'll click on that one. I'm just going to click the delete button. And maybe it'll delete. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't want to delete. But anywho, that is how you do this. It's super simple really really easy um, to you know separate these images that way you don't have to buy each individual image um, this sheet cost me like two dollars and some change and I got nine images on here and you know I can make them all um, separate images and use them on cards or tags or whatever I need to use them on um, I'm just going to click continue and save and now I've saved that image. So that is about it. That is all that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that was helpful to someone. And as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.